need to know about South African literature. South African literature, in a word, diversity. Some critics speak of South African literatures in the plural, given the country's 11 official languages and variety of cultures and modes of expression. There's thus a great deal more to South African literature than its two Nobel Prize winners, Nadine Gordimer and Jane Kutsia, and the famous novelist, Olive Schreiner, who lies buried right over there on that mountain. It's a cool 38 degrees Celsius here in the crew, and I'm on my way to the grave of Olive Schreiner, the mother of the South African English novel. Her most famous book, The Story of an African Farm, was published in 1883 and is set right here in the Karoo. New Bethesda is the home of the most performed living playwright in the world today, Athel Fugard. Plays like Master Harold and the Boys raised important awareness of the effects of apartheid on individuals. As the Mbongi sings his traditional leader's praises, the fiery young artist speaks her rage in performance poetry. Literature in South Africa is not only written, but also spoken, and oral storytelling, especially in the African languages, has always flown through this landscape. HIV negative, HIV positive, perpetrator, victim. There is no such thing as the South African experience. Some South Africans are worlds apart and the telling of stories by novelists, musicians, filmmakers are vital in a post-apartheid society still learning to listen to one another. stories of suffering and injustice, or the literature of engagement, translated into real action. Oh. 
high security gates and barbed wire walls of many South African houses would look completely out of place in suburbs such as these in the United Kingdom. Crime fiction is a very popular genre in South Africa because it creates for readers the illusion of justice and control in what is in fact an unpredictable climate. All's well that ends well. South African literature was edited by two of the University of York.